Hi, I'm Suzanne Tuff. I'm co-director of the PreHOT team, which stands for Preterm Birth and Healthy Outcomes. When babies are born preterm, too small or too soon, they're at risk of some challenges after they're born. It's not just when these babies come out of the hospital that things necessarily flow easily. Preterm babies are at risk of speech and language delay, being slower to learn how to walk or swing a bat, and some of them even have challenges in their social interactions. When babies are born too small or too soon, these are challenges that families face. Moms might not be able to go back to work as soon as they were planning. Dads might have to pick up extra slack at home despite also having a full-time job or a full-time workload. Other children might miss out on additional care or attention that they might need. So having a preterm baby is challenging for families despite the fact that our communities try to provide the sports that they can. The other influences to health care that happen when a baby is born preterm relate to the need for additional health care services, often through the life course, and of course many of these children often need additional supports in our education system, and so we have costs associated with meeting the needs of these children so they can be the best that they can be. Why this really matters though is because we can start to understand what women are at risk of having a preterm birth earlier in pregnancy. And if we can begin to identify women at risk and start to ve intervene early, we can maybe help women and children have the best start possible. Some of the examples that we know of what puts women at risk are poor social support, high levels of stress and anxiety, not having friends or family or people they can confide in, and not having a health care provider. So when we know that women are not getting the care that they need early in pregnancy, then we also know that there are increased risk of preterm birth. Fortunately, we do have some ways, and women are happy to tell us when they feel that they are not being supported, and we do have strategies to improve social supports and networks during pregnancy to help women have the best possible outcome and the best transition into parenting possible.